But the younger Ananus who, as we said, received the high priesthood, was of a bold disposition and exceptionally daring, he followed the party of the Sadducees, who are severe in judgment above all the Jews, as we have already shown. As therefore Ananus was of such a disposition, he thought he had now a good opportunity, as Festus was now dead, and Albinus was still on the road, so he assembled a council of judges, and brought before it the brother of Jesus the so-called Christ, whose name was James, together with some others, and having accused them as lawbreakers, he delivered them over to be stoned. It is the words the so-called Christ, that are thought to be interpolated here. Assuming that this passage is even noticed, some writers, seem to forget that it exists. But let us consider the arguments for and against regarding this as an interpolation. 1. There is no textual evidence against this passage. It is found in every copy of the antiquities we have. This also applies to the larger passage. Some will assert as a counter, that there was still sufficient time for an interpolation, to occur and not enough textual evidence, to prove that it did not, but this amounts to an admission that the textual data, as it stands, favors authenticity. Anything beyond that in these terms is speculation and question begging. 2. There is a specific use of non-Christian terminology, the designation of James, as the brother of Jesus contrasts with Christian practice, of referring to him as the brother of the Lord or brother of the Savior. As in Galatians chapter 1 verse 19 in the New Testament and Eusebius in later history. I saw none of the other apostles, only James the Lord's brother. The passage squares neither with New Testament nor with early patristic usage. 3. We may note the emphasis of the passage. It is not on Jesus or even James, but on Ananus the high priest and the turbulence he caused. There is no praise for James or Jesus. This is not what we would expect if this were an interpolation. 4. Josephus' account of James being stoned is different from the account given by the church historian Hegesippus, who has James being thrown from the roof of the temple. This would be an unlikely move for an interpolator. 5. Neither this passage nor the larger one connects Jesus with John the Baptist, as we would expect from a Christian interpolator.